Today I'm gonna to show you a really cool artistic effect that you can apply to your photos and videos. We do this by inverting the color spectrum to create a super cool infrared style image. Before we go ahead, let's play an intro sequence to show you exactly what I mean. What you have seen was basically a digital emulation of infrared photography. That is a technique that was originally created in film photography by pairing very special filters with a special type of film called Kodak Aerochrome. As you can see, it basically inverts greens, turns them into reds, which looks super abstract. And you can do that also by using a digital camera, but you have to get it like modified by a specialist who has to open it up and take out some filter elements from the sensor to be able to capture the infrared light spectrum. So I decided to go the easy way and fake it in post-production. The best thing is that you can apply it to both photos and videos. So I'll show you a few easy tweaks in Photoshop and then we'll copy and paste the settings and import them into Premiere Pro and you can also apply them to your videos. Before we go ahead, I wanted to thank Motionary for making this video possible. Motion Area is a platform for creatives that offers thousands of editing assets that will not only elevate your photos and videos, but will also save your time and make your workflow faster. All right, I got my computer right here and we open up Photoshop to create this cool channel swap and later we'll export it to any video editing software. First things first, you wanna select a photo that contains a lot of greens. Next, I create two layers in Photoshop. The first layer, I add the channel mixer and then I select the red channel. Then I need to change some values. First, I change red to zero. Then I push the green to 200 and I decrease the blue to negative 100. Next, I wanna change the blending mode for that particular layer to lighten. That yellow looks already pretty cool, but we'll take it a step further and push that all the way to red. So first I select the next layer and choose the hue saturation function. Then I select the yellow channel, change the hue to negative 100. And after that I select blue and I wanna bump that up a tiny bit so it becomes a little more teal. So let's choose like plus 10%. See the before and after? I didn't promise too much, did I? We've performed a channel swap that affects only the greens and we've emulated that infrared effect. Now, if you wanna save all these settings and apply that to your videos, then all you have to do is select all layers with the adjustments we just made, then go to the File tab, select Export, and then Export as Lookup Table. For the settings, I change the slider and move it to the right where it says High, so I maintain high quality, and then let's call that Aerochrome and hit Export, boom. Next, open up Premiere Pro or any other editing software. Simply select a clip and apply the LUT we've just created. In Premiere Pro, load up the Lumetri panel, select Creative, then select the Lookup table. Boom, got that effect applied to your videos. Told you it was very easy. In case you wanna make it a little less intense or increase the intensity, then all you gotta do is just use that slider below. So once again, let me show you the before and after. That looks super cool and it wasn't complex to do at all, honestly. From my experience, it works pretty well with the skin tones on my camera, but please note that this might not be suitable for all footage with people in it, as it can kind of mess with the skin color and it depends a bit on what kind of greens are present. But on landscape shots in general, it looks super surreal. From my experience, it looks a bit better on footage that is quite bright and not necessarily golden hour, Plus, I loaded it into relatively saturated footage. If you are looking for more tweaks for your photos and videos, I highly recommend to check out Motion Array, who have thousands of other similar effects. There are a ton of effects that you can pair with the trippy inverted colors, stuff like overlays, film grain, which makes it a bit more vintage, animated text, RGB splits, and many, many more psychedelic looking effects. 
Most of the assets are simply drag and drop, so it is super easy to apply and only takes a few minutes. Give it a try, it only costs less than 20 US dollars per month and with my link below you get like 50 bucks off an annual subscription, so it's only like 16 per month, which I personally find extremely reasonable considering you also get music and all kinds of other stuff. That's it for today. If you found this helpful, let's keep in touch here on the channel and I'll see you guys on another video. Have a good one.